everyone, Paul Clark here, Sup Paul at Kootenai Lake in beautiful British Columbia. Uh, while I'm in paradise, let me take this opportunity to answer some common questions you have about hala paddle boards. This is a video about hala. Let's go do this. Right, the first question is often, who is hala? What is hala? Well, Hala is a paddleboard company based in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Hala makes paddleboards, but not just common paddleboards that you find in box stores. Hala is about adventure paddleboarding, running rivers, multi-day trips, expeditions. Hala is built tough with a couple of pieces of technology that kind of makes it stand out. The first of all, this retractable stomp box fin. And for the performance-oriented lake and open water paddlers, the carbon technology. Yes, Hala makes inflatable paddle boards with carbon stringers. The second question is focused on that stomp box. The stomp box is a fully retractable fin system in the Hala River Series boards. The Hala Atches, the Hala Rados, and the Fame, which is fly fishing board for rivers. It is going to be found only in hollow built boards. And yes, it completely retracts into the board. New for 2021-22 is this Stompbox 2.0. It's a fully retractable nine inch fin. And yes, you can put the traditional four inch Stompbox into this fin box. And here's an interesting note, the entire fin system comes out. So you could roll your floor tight. It's nice and lightweight. You can hike it into the backcountry. You can throw it onto a plane, whatever you're doing. And as soon as you get to your water, perform. The stomp box. Can you find it in any other boards? Nope, that's why Hala is so special. The carbon stringer. What is up with this patented carbon stringer that Hala has on its carbon series board? Well, it is a very unique and special carbon that makes hollow paddle boards exponentially more rigid than your typical paddle board. Even at 15 PSI, which we recommend you inflate it to, this is going to be a very rigid board. Gone are the days when people don't associate paddle board, inflatable paddle boarding with rigidity. Hollas carbon series boards are rigid. And yes, you can roll them up and travel with them as you would any other inflatable paddle board. Question number four, what's the difference between the carbon series and the all water Hala inflatable paddle boards? Well, like I just mentioned, the Hala carbon series has that stringer on top and bottom for ultimate rigidity. It's made out of woven drop stitch, making it a very light inflatable paddle board, even with the carbon on it. The all water series doesn't have that carbon stringer, but it will surprise you, I'm sure, to know that even at 15 PSI, these all water boards are extremely rigid. Stability is built into there. With fusion drop stitch, these are light boards and durable, and all hollow paddle boards have a five year warranty. All water boards have a removable center fin and fixed bite fins. Again, these are focused on stability. The carbon series boards have removable bite fins and a removable center tracking fin. The person who's looking for the ultimate rigidity and fast moving paddle board, I recommend the Carbon Series. If you're looking for getting the best inflatable paddle boards for your family, I recommend the All Water Series. You may notice that we have the same names in both series of boards. There's a Haas, there's a Straight Up, and there's a Plyon but you also might notice that they have different dimensions. The carbon series are gonna be narrower and longer. The rival series are gonna be a little shorter and wider, again, for stability. For example, the carbon Haas is 11 feet by 33 inches, a nice smooth glide rocker going fast and straight, typically for the paddler who knows how to go straight on a paddleboard. The all water Haas is 10 by 10 and 35 inches wide. A very stable platform. 
Both the Carbon Series and the all-water paddle boards from Hala come with an inclusion paddle. This is a three-piece paddle that comes with the board. Button system in the middle, and the grip is a lever lock, locking system. Boom. Travel with it, loan it to a friend, use it as your primary paddle. It comes with the Carbon and All Water Series. Which brings me to question number five. Will this thing sink? Well, given that the middle is a button system, any button system in a paddle will collect water and eventually sink. How long will it take to sink? I should probably do an experiment and then come back to you. How long will it take for the inclusion paddle to sink? Get my stopwatch out. Here are a couple of paddles, maybe we'll average it. Starting now. All right, it's been over three minutes. The paddles haven't sunk yet. Expe I'm expecting them to sink, but the button is facing up. Maybe I have to modify that and just kind of switch the button so that they will sink faster. So we're about at five minutes, it just turned five minutes. I was out paddling when one started to sink. The other one is still floating. The blade is in the air, which is a good sign, but I think this experiment is going to show one thing. They will sink probably if water gets into them, but it's gonna take several minutes. Question number six, what is the best board for you? Which one should you get? Hala has a surfing series, a carbon series, an all water series, and a river series. What works best for you is what type of water you're paddling on. Obviously, if you're surfing both rivers and the ocean, you're gonna be looking at the surf series boards. If you're focused primarily on lakes, an all water or a carbon series board is great. If you're on rivers, the river series, that's self-explanatory. But really what's the difference between say a Colorado and a Haas and an Atcha? Well, the Haas is gonna be great for a river if it's flat moving and it looks like a lake. The river series board is going to have the retractable fin and an Evo deck pad for great grip wearing shoes. And the Hala Atcha is going to be a River Series board that has the stop box and the Evo diamond grip, but it also has a ton of rocker. If you're running technical whitewater, it's going to be an Atcha. If you're doing multi-day tours or running down moving river water, putting gear on the board, etc., it's going to be a Rado or a Radito. And if you're going to be focused primarily on the lake, it's going to be either a Carbon or an All Water Series. And if it's a decision between the all water or the carbon, like I said earlier in this video, the carbon is for the connoisseur, the person who's looking for streamlined rigidity. The, the all water series is gonna be for the person who's looking to outfit their entire family for a good price with Hollis five-year warranty in every series. Question number seven, fins, 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 more fins. Hall is known for its retractable fin system, the stomp box but it's also known for all of the gummy, the flexi fins that come with the boards. And each size and shape will be dependent on the style of board you get. In both the all water and the carbon series boards, you may get this nine inch racing fin. This is a straight fin with a lot of surface area intended for those longer boards that are going straight and fast. You might have an eight inch dolphin fin, which has significant surface area, but not as much as that racing fin. This will give you stability and tracking. This will be found in the Haas and the Playa and the straight up. Bite fins, removable bite fins come in the surfing series, the carbon series and the river series. This green flexi bite fin will be found in all of the river series and most of the carbon series. You may find this four inch more rigid 
flexi fin in the surf series the more rigid the fin the more bite it's going to have so thus it's going to be in the surfing series and then you have these bad boys a rainbow pocket fin found in the 7-eleven but as an accessory for other boards if you're looking for a little bit of bite but a lot of agility in the board surfing 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 you also have this one inch flexible fin that's an accessory if you want some bite but more tracking in your river running experience put this in your atcha and you're going to have that added little bite and stability for your boards fins 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 one more thing about these fins these are click fin systems which means there's a little knob on here these are designed to fit and then click into place. Push into the click fin system, slide it in, and it's good. It will lock into place, and if you're touring on a lake, you don't even need to use a key or a grub screw to tighten it into place. However, if you know you're gonna hit stuff on a river surfing, use the key and the grub screws that come with the boards to cinch it into place. You may hit something and the fin will break off. They are designed to break at these little nubs that will prevent the fin box itself from breaking. If you need more fins, Paula will have fins for you. Paula makes inflatable paddle boards. The inflatable paddle board story goes back for a while. They're great for storing and for traveling, but with a Hala, you have all that, plus performing when you're on the water. And that goes to question number eight. What's in the bag? Well, all hollow boards come with this rolling travel bag, which is sweet. If you have a carbon or an all water series, with the board, you have a inclusion paddle, which we already talked about. This is a carbon straight up. Yes, the carbon boards roll up into a bag. You get a floor pump, a two stage floor pump, which is really nice, but do know that the worst thing about inflatable paddle boards is the inflation. So I do recommend you get a 12 volt electric pump that you could set and go. It will save you that little bit of energy and frustration. And I do find that when I'm floor pumping an inflatable paddle board, rarely do I get it to the inflation that it needs to be. With a 12 volt pump like this outdoor master that Hollis sells, you could set it and go. For any inflatable paddle board, I recommend a 12 volt pump. In the bag, you have the appropriate fins for your board. For the carbon series, you have the green click fins, the bite fins, as well as the center tracking fin. If you have an all water board, the bite fins are affixed to the board. If you have a river series board like the Atches or the Rados, the stomp box fin assembly comes with it. You may have to assemble this stomp box system. There's another video, I'll link it here to where you could see how to assemble and install the stomp box. And in the bag, you'll find this orange tube. This orange tube is your repair kit. In the repair kit, you will have a valve wrench. More on valve wrenches, <laughs> more on valve wrenches in another video. You will also find the center fin anchor, and the grub screw key. A lot of you ask where in the bag are these found? Check the repair kit. You will also have patches to match the color of your board. Mind you, these patches are for an emergency repair. If you have a puncture, send it into Hala, we'll repair it for you. And that brings me to question number nine. What's up with Hala's five-year warranty? Yes, starting in 2021, Hala has a five-year warranty on all the boards. We trust the gear, we trust the equipment, we trust the manufacturing of the board so much, we give you a five-year warranty. That includes the seams, that includes the fin boxes, that includes the deck padding. Hit rocks all day long with your boards, especially the River Series boards, because that's what they're made for. Does that cover you driving at highway speeds with your boards not strapped to your roof? Probably not. But 
if it's general use, general wear and tear, and really focus on the manufacturing of the board, we've got you covered for five years. And that brings us to question number 10, where can you get Hala paddle boards? Well, like I said earlier, Hala is based in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Almost every paddle shop in Colorado, in the Pacific Northwest, in the Southeast, there are retail shops that really cater to adventure paddle boarding. For example, in Hood River, there's big winds. If you're looking to demo a board, if you're in Southern Oregon, try Sawyer Station. If you're in Colorado, try Stand Up Paddle Colorado, Supco. A lot of places to get your feet on a holla board. If you're shopping online, try hollagear.com, cks.com, outdoorplay.com. There are places to get boards. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm in Canada, so we're working on some things up here and hopefully you'll be able to get boards more easily in 2022 in Canada. We have distribution in Australia and New Zealand, Japan, Europe. We could get you paddle boards. All right, guys, that's it. If you have more questions, feel free to reach out. Take a look at Hala's website, hallagear.com, for more information and updates on boards. Keep us uh, on your radar. Get aboard, get on the water. If it's a Hala, I know you'll be stoked. See ya.